Hello, welcome to huge feeding video. Can't even remember. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, I just thought I'd show you this one first because I'm, I'm going to put straight back. You can just see her there. This is my avicularia later. I just had to open it up a tiny bit to see if she was all right. Um, very very heavy pre malt. Um, I'm going to leave her be. I'm going to fill up a water bowl and um, give her um, a lid a spray and leave her be completely because I know she's in very heavy pre malt. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm going to leave a B and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Avicularia versicolor. Um, quite skittish, but I'm going to see if she eats from her tongues. Yep. Avix are quite good for eating from tongues, um, to my knowledge, because um, I've seen a lot of people do it, and pretty much all of mine do it. So yeah. And that's her. Um, not got the typical versi colours yet, still a young juve, but she will pick up the colouring very soon. Okay, I'm going to leave a B and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my newly acquired Sea Darlingi. Mm. Definitely interested. Hopefully, it will not try and run out of the enclosure. If it does, um, I'm just going to feed them and I'll feed my Holofellies. Um, see if it's interesting because I don't want one of these to bolt, definitely not. Um, it might have to be how my holophilies are filmed where I just show you them after, um, because until they get to like juvie size, because something this small and fast, if it's bigger, it's a lot easier to manage. Should easily be able to take this down. I think it grabbed it. <laughs> Not too sure. Mm. No, I haven't grabbed it. Alright, I'm going to leave it be because I don't want to stress it out. Yeah, see darling gear. Okay, back in a sec. This is the sea marshally. Yeah, marshally. Bigger, but um, I ain't got a lot of locusts that are small at the moment, so I'm just feeding them whatever, whatever the smaller ones I can find. And it's gone. Um, I know it's down there, but I'm just gonna leave it be. I don't want to lose these, as I've mentioned. Alright, back in a sec. This is my sea fasciatum. No, it's just at the bottom. Should be hungry. <coughs> Should have hardened up by now. But we shall see. Locust bud there, by the way. Trying to get the camera onto a better angle. Not the easiest of things to find. Do. 
should be hungry. We'll get a couple more minutes. Um, and she's going to eat. Yeah, she's quite shy this one, even before she molted. Um, I'm going to leave her be, but I'm totally confident that she'll eat it. Okay, back in a sec. It's really hard to see, but as soon as I turn the camera off, she stroke it straight away. Oh well, okay, back in a sec. This is my Lassie Dora Tabune, and quick question, do people prefer me to use the flash or my light? Just let us know in the comments. This one should be hungry. I'm going to wait on this one because I know it's going to be something good. So yeah, if you want me to use my flash, I'll just use that all the time. I'm not too fussed. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. How was that not struck? Are you in pre molt? Honestly, shocked about that one. Got it. One sec, I'll put my flash on. Oh, no, it didn't. That's my last year, Dora Tabune. Hmm, odd. Suspects pre molt. Okay, I'm going to take that locust out and leave it be. Unless. Nope, it's coming towards me. There we go. Yeah, very nice, last year, Dora. Right, back in a sec. This is my Nemphis um, Intermedius. And I did clean this out the other day. And it's looking, um, tank's looking a lot better. Should be hungry. Let's see. Yep. Very good eaters. And a very nice little male. So the actually only impressive um, attack so far. <laughs> okay, the leaving B and well, maybe because well, but yeah. Okay, the leaving B and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. I'm gonna take my chance to get some footage of this one before it runs in its hide. There we go. Trino Pelma Sazzy May. Not got the adult colours yet, but one of the most gorgeous tarantulas in the hobby. Easily. Okay, back in a sec. Thought I would mention it's not fully grown, so it doesn't have the full colouring, but still very nice. I'm going to give it something bigger than usual because I'm running out of smaller ones and I'm not even halfway through. And she took it down with ease. <laughs> I think this is the first time it's ate in my care, I can't remember. But yeah, quite happy with that. And she's actually out, so I've got some footage of her. Alright, yeah, Petrino Palma, Sazzy May. Alright, back in a sec. This is my Cotgeo Bunny Peas, usually a good feeder. 
Let's see. Don't know if you just saw that. It ran out of its enclosure. I just shit myself. I thought I lost it. It ran out of the enclosure. All the way down there. Out of it. Back in. And rubber tackled it. And it's gone. So yeah. Whew. Don't underestimate these teas. Very fast. <laughs> yeah, cut your brunny peas. Very nice tarantula. Alright, back in a sec. Finally, a good shot of my cycle stone and pentalo. Should be hungry. Oh, there we go. Very nice tarantula, it's quite vicious, I'll be honest, um, for a smaller species, out of the smaller species that I keep, these are a lot more vicious, like my cycle, uh, my cyclostunum, fasciatum has gone for my tweezers multiple times, evil little things, this one has as well when they unpacked her, but yeah, crazy little things, alright, I'll leave a bit, I'll move on to the next one, if I haven't already mentioned, some teas will be getting fed, Diff um, bigger or smaller than usual size meals that's because I'm running out of certain sizes so I need to spread it out between the teas ok back in a sec this little guy isn't looking too well and I was just starting to get a bit worried about him then he went for the tweezers so I'm guessing he's hungry let's have a look what? is he gonna? He's contemplating it. So this is my immature male, Plopus species Columbia Large. Sadly the female's in pre-molt, so I need to wait for her to molt. Um, so hopefully this little guy will eat and they'll have some time left with us. Mr. Locust wants to move. Lovely little guy, looks really nice. Move the light to the light. Is he gonna? I'm actually shocked because immature males are really bad eaters. Yep, yeah, yes. Oh my god. This guy's got. <laughs> He's not on his last legs yet. Bless him. So, yeah, I'm um, looking good because the female is in pre -mult and she thinks she's a trapdoor. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So, yeah, he's actually doing pretty damn well. So, happy with that one. Alright, I'm going to leave him be to his meal and show you the female okay back in a sec so this is the female a lot different to the male um, she's burrowed and she thinks she's a trapdoor don't know if she'll eat um, she's in suspect pre because she's absolutely huge and very well like sluggish so suspect pre -mult. hopefully she is because then I'll be able to meet her with my male but he's still got time with us as he's eating, so. Basically, that's the entrance to a burrow, that little tiny. And you can see her there. I'm gonna drop it down there. See if she grabs it. Hopefully, she's in pre so they keep munching. I don't really want her to eat. She did get fed a dubia last week by the person I bought her off, so. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that if she was going to eat. Should have ate it by now. It's just down there. Yeah, 
I'll take that out. I'm pretty confident she's in pre molt. So, yeah, hopefully, she'll molt, harden up, and I can breathe her with my male. Okay, back in a sec. <coughs> this one I chucked in because it hasn't actually fully made a burrow, it's just like a little slidey bit and kept running in and out so I didn't want to chance it. So this is my um, C. sandere or Brachycephalis hobby form. Um, bigger than the other two slightly. And I'm going to this one be. I'm pretty confident I'd be able to take it down if it wanted to. Same with the other ones. My smaller slings, I'll obviously have to crush it, but these, these will be able to take them down. Okay, I'll give you an update on these at the end of the video. Back in a sec. This is my Hippopus tristatus, aka the lemon patch. It's just back there, chilling. I've just dropped this in, um, crushed it, it's completely dead, because it is quite small this one, and the smaller ones I do fully crush. Okay, so I'm going to leave it be, and move on to the next one, back in a sec. As I said, I had the most confidence in this one to eat first, and it did, because it's the bigger one. This is the C. Sandere slash Brachycephalus hobby form, took it down with ease. Alright, I'll leave it be, and... Move on to the next one, back in a sec. Hey tunes here, as usual, just drop it in, spray it, just don't bother because it's too fast. <laughs> okay, back in a sec. Another one, hey tunes here, just chuck it in, and leave it be. Right, back in a sec. I know this one's going to eat, 3, 2, 1, boom. Boom. Yeah, you were gonna eat. I'm a stall pull cripes. Check out golden name. Okay, back in a sec. Just thought I'd get this on camera, um, because I know it's gonna grab it in a sec. Call for Lindsay Gold. Don't make me a liar. Take it's time. Take it's sweet time. Is it gonna? Nope, it's just gonna stare at it. All right. Back in a sec. This is my Frix Palmer Octia. By the way, the Holofill Inti just took it down. Inti Gold. Made me a liar, but be right. <laughs> so, this is my Frix Palmer Octia. I know it'll eat. Pretty much always does. Yep. This one don't make me a liar. <laughs> Tea Octa, very nice tea, very underrated in the hobby, but absolutely awesome. Alright, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one, back in a sec. So this is my Placima Palma Species Bolivia, an iffy eater at best. See if that wants to make me up. Nope, <laughs> it's ran back into his hide. Alright, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Here's my pet speck. Right in that corner, you can see it's abdomen. And this is the Placimo Palma species Kazar, but I know it's species short hair. So yeah. Just, if you can't see it. Just the camera's messing up. Basically, it's there. Just it took my finger. A little round speck. <laughs> okay, back in a sec. This one's a lot more obvious to see. This is my Campus Scuria Aatrox. Okay. 
really good eater. Don't all don't all eat the lot, obviously. The wit does have a good munch. All right, I'll leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my grandma stole a grocer. Don't know if it'll eat. Nah. Right, I'll leave it in now. I'll leave it be. I'll move on to the next one. Sorry, I'm doing alt slings. It's because I'm running low on small ones, so I want to feed the smallest to the smallest. Alright, back in a sec. Second gram still a grocer. Just going to do the exact same thing. Drop it in and leave it be. Alright, back in a sec. I'm a stole Amphracina. Pretty confident this one will eat. Oh. Let's get back in. I'll leave it be with it. I'm pretty confident it'll eat it though. As I always mention, locusts are completely harmless to teas. Alright, back in a sec. I think this one's hungry. <laughs> this one's next. Back in a sec. Now I'm pretty confident this tea will eat. Let's have a look. Yep. Caught it in mid air. This is my Formictopus Conceritus Violet Sling and eats like a pig. <laughs> Alright, back in a sec. So, this is my Vicularia Species Peru Purple, very shy little juve, but should be hungry. Yep, she grabbed it. Well, I don't know what sex this is. Um, at all. Let's see if we can shine it better. Nope, she's going. One sec. Yep, that's better. So yeah, that's her. Vicularia species pro purple. Very, very nice tea. Alright, back in a sec. Just showing you, don't matter what size the tea is, it'll still take down if it's hungry. And the pea species Bolivia are also eat. So that's just an update on them too. Okay, back in a sec. This is my GBB, and I'm very good feeder, so let's see if she's hungry. Yep. Pretty much always eats. Um, very nice female, she's quite calm, never gives me any trouble really, and yeah, that's pretty much her, so I'm going to leave her be and move on to the next one, back in a sec, this is my Nandu Chromatis, usually always eats, let's see if she's hungry, yep, as I've mentioned earlier, some teas are getting the wrong size meals, but as you can see they're not bothered at all so yeah, that's her I'll leave it be and move on to the next one by the way I do keep this species dry it's just she try, she likes to tip a water ball over and she seems to like it more humid so I'm going to leave it be with that if, she, if it starts to get out of hand I will redo the substrate for the moment she's doing perfectly fine ok back in a sec this is my Nandu Colorado Vlosis. Um, I think she's gone mad because basically there's nothing there. Absolutely nothing there. And she's going mad. Absolutely crazy. She just did a backflip when she struck. And she's webbing up like mad. Like you can't see it as well. But she's webbed up absolutely everything. I don't understand what the hell is up with her. Um, she's just gone a bit mad. Right, I'll turn around so I'm actually facing her. But yeah, I don't know what's up with her. She's just in a really, oops, sorry. She's just in a really bizarre mood all the time. And she seems to walk around like that. Don't understand what's up with her. Because she eats, she drinks, 
she does everything perfectly fine and what she should but she's just like very low to the ground hmm I'm gonna feed her see if she's hungry as you can see she's like really low to the ground for some bizarre reason but she's healthy she's eating she's walking around perfectly fine she seems to like to lay down like this and it's very odd I'm getting my big tweezers I'm not using little tweezers with her see what I mean What's the point? <laughs> See? Evil. Like, fangs are fully out. There's no need for her to be like that, but she is. Now, if the locust comes out alive now, I am going to um, take it out. Yeah, I'm going to take it out. Don't want to stress her out too much. Yeah, as you can see. She's not in a happy mood. Really, really weird. Alright, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Grandma stole Amphrasina. Did actually eat in the end, so I just thought I'd give an update. Alright, back in a sec. This is Mark. He's my Bubomi. He was the first ever tarantula I've got, and he's the reason why I have 40 odd. So yeah, he should be hungry, um, he is an immature male, let's see, yep, <laughs> yep, always used to be a good eater, went off his food but he's malted and he's got his appetite back, which I'm happy about, yeah, very nice tea, obviously my favourite because he's my baby, and that's it, yeah, so I'm going to leave him be and move on to the next one, back in a sec. Also, if you don't watch my channel much, um, he hasn't got to hide. There is a reason for, reason for this. One, he never uses it. And two, if he does like to hide, he likes to sit behind that piece of bark. So I just took the hide out because he never used it. He just likes to sit behind that piece of bark. Or just sit out in the open 90% of the time. Alright, so I'm going to leave him be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Damn. So this is my Lassiodora Kluge. She's absolutely gorgeous. Easily, easily one of my favourite tarantulas in my collection. I love my Lassiodoras. And she's also my biggest tarantula. I think she was about eight, nine, something like that. I can't remember now. They get miles bigger than this. Um, she's got a lot of growing to do. But yeah, she's freshly malted and looking very nice. I'm just going to prove that she's all alright. She has had a week to harden up, but I still won't be feeding her. She's quite big. <laughs> That's all I get, a foot kick. So yeah, she's still hardening up. But I'm going to leave her be, and move on to the next one. Alright, back in a sec. This is my Lassiodora Parahibana. <laughs> used to be one of my worst eaters would only take deads now she'll take anything <laughs> alright I'm going to leave her be and move on to the next one back in a sec so this is my Pamphropetius fortis who never wants to come out she's been getting two of these large ones because usually she gets an extra large She got that one. There's the other one. So that's her. That's the best view you're going to get. And she's an adult female Pamphobetius fortis. Sticks to herself. And she's very nice. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave a beat and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Okay, so this is a 50 50 chance if this one will eat. This is my Amphipelma calcodes. Sometimes eats, sometimes doesn't.
Nope. <laughs> she scared herself. Then my lamp's going for you. <laughs> oh, she's right cute. She's proper soft here. Right shy. Alright, I'm going to leave her be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This little bugger's just walked around the tank about five times, climbed out, climbed back in, hung from the lid, just had a mad five minutes. Let me see if it's hungry. Really? You're not hungry? You're a peak in Cerites, man. Nope. Okay. Well, wish me luck. Oh god, I don't know why it's not eating. Probably pre malt. Alright, back in a sec. So this is the Pamphobetes fortis male. Should be hungry. Should. Yep. So yeah, this is the male. He did malt like a week ago. Looking very nice. Um absolutely gorgeous tease and we'll leave him be and move on to the next one back in a sec so this is my holophily sanguiniceps don't know if it'll eat on camera never seems to we shall see by the way that blood's off the locust not the actual tea yeah, I'm going to leave it there alright back in a sec so this is my Sacristan and Pentalor male. Don't know if it'll eat on camera. Let's have a look. He's interested. Yep, he grabbed it. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, Sacristan and Pentalor male. And it ate. Right, back in a sec. Lassidora Stratipes. She'll be hungry. I'll leave it be. I'll move on to the next one. Back in a sec. So this is my Lufus Tephorius species Grease. Should be hungry. Yep. He really always eats. And I always rant and rave about captive bred scorpions. Because they always eat pretty much. Give or take. Alright, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Only four left to feed. And um, this is my Sparboffrey Hoff Manny. Um, seems hungry. Yep. Um, two things. Um, I might be starting a new style feeding video. Um, basically, um, I only show the teas that eat. And I don't give updates. Um, so basically, you only see the teas to eat. It'll be a lot shorter, but if people want to see that, they can. Um, or if people like these longer videos, let me know. And also, that I'm probably going to start using my flash again because it's why it's getting a bit naff. <coughs> so, yeah, just so people know, shorter feeding videos, but more action and no updates. So yeah, I'm going to try that model out, if it works, it works, if it doesn't, it doesn't, I'll just go back to this. Alright, back in a sec. This is my Fimixpus Platus, should be hungry. Finally. So 
that's that one. By the way, um, if I do start the new style feeding videos, I will be doing tarantula tours pretty often to give updates on the teas, because basically my feeding videos are weekly, uh, fortnightly updates of the teas, showing that they're alright, and it's also um, showing me feed the teas, but I might start doing the, the different model where I show the ones that eat, and every like month, well every like two months do a tarantula tour video, so I'm going to try that out starting soon. Alright, back in a sec. So this is my Yaffa species yellow. Should be hungry. Pretty much always eats but very rarely on camera. Eat. Nope. Right, I'm going to leave a B and move on to the last thing, which is my centipede. Alright, back in a sec. Okay, so my centipede's in there. I'm not going to feed it on camera because it, obviously it's not out. So it'd be a bit pointless. Uh, it's just gone under its log. I just missed it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's doing perfectly fine in my care, which I'm shocked about. I'm keeping a centipede in quite well. So yeah, I um, just thought I'd update that. So yeah, a um, couple of things to take into account, um, changing my feed, probably going to be changing my feeding videos up to a new model and do tarantula tours every couple of months to see all the teas. Um, what else? Um, I'm also going to be doing, oh yeah, I'm going to start using my flash again I think, because it makes, you can see the teas a lot easier. Alright, so I'll give an update. Um, tomorrow on what ate and what didn't and I'll see you then and then after that it'll be new style feeding video alright back in a sec okay so this is just a summary of what ate some might have ate and they've left a bit that's why they're here um, so yeah um, K bunny peeps ate um, L stratipedes ate you have a species yellow ate H inse ate um, one of the G grossers ate. The Hypopus species Kazar did eat, but not not much, so I did have to take it out. Canvas Scurrier Aatrox did eat, but not a load, so again I had to take it out. Um C Darlingi, C Sandere, and Hypopus Tristatus all ate. So the only ones that didn't eat. The Hypopus species Columbia Large did actually eat, which has left some. So I'm going to take that out. Um, one of the G grosses didn't eat. Seymour um, Shelley, one of them didn't eat. It's just stood there next to it. And the Holophily Sanguiniceps has flipped. So, yeah. Um, that's an update. I will be trying the new style for you next week. If people don't like that, I'll swap back to this. Or I might do alternate, like do one of these every once a month so I can show the tea, um, show all my teas. And well, once every couple of months instead of doing the tarantula tour and just do it like as a tarantula tour feeding video type thing. So yeah, now I'm going to try out something new. And yeah, I'm just going to take these leftovers out and sort all these out. So yeah, see you in a bit, people. Bye.